guys, I'm Laise De Leon, NLA for Her Athlete, and today I'm gonna be taking you through my 21 minute at home leg workout. I structured the circuit to give you a great leg workout that you can do anywhere with no equipment. But as a bonus, you're also gonna get a great cardio workout. This workout is structured as a circuit. We have six exercises and you'll be completing each exercise back to back for a minute total. That's one round and you'll be completing three rounds with a minute rest between each round. All right, so let's get to work. So the first exercise is a pop squat. Now remember, you're gonna be doing each exercise for one minute. To perform a pop squat, go down into a squat, tapping both hands to the floor. Jump up, bringing your feet together, and perform this continuously at a moderate pace for the full minute. Reset, and we're gonna move into our second exercise, the Bulgarian split squats. We'll be performing this exercise also for one minute, so that's 30 seconds on one leg and 30 seconds on the other. To perform the Bulgarian split squats, you'll need a platform to place your foot on, like a couch. Start by placing one foot behind you onto the platform. It may take you one or two reps to figure out where your foot placement is most comfortable. Try to keep all your weight on your front leg, push off of your heels, and make sure you're keeping your knees in line with your ankles. As soon as you've completed 30 seconds with one leg, immediately switch over to the other leg. The third exercise is a variation of the same exercise we just did, the plyometric Bulgarian split squat. The difference here is that when you're performing the exercise, instead of coming up slow and controlled, you want to explode up and actually come off the floor with one foot. And make sure when you come down, you land softly on your toes. And just like the previous exercise, when you're done completing 30 seconds on one leg, immediately switch over to the other leg. And the fourth exercise is what I like to call a one and a half squat. To perform a one and a half squat, squat all the way down, then come up halfway before squatting back down and coming all the way back up. The main reason I like to do them this way is to increase time under tension. Exercise five is the glute bridge. Just like all the other exercises in the circuit, we'll be performing the glute bridge for a total of one minute. To perform a glute bridge, lay on your back with your feet flat on the ground. Drive your hips up as you squeeze your glutes at the top. Pause for a second, then go back down and repeat. This is a great exercise for isolating your glutes. And we're wrapping up the circuit with the jump squat. For the jump squat, you're gonna come down just like a body weight squat, but instead of coming up slow and controlled, you want to explode up, making sure your feet come off the ground. This is a great exercise to finish off the circuit because it not only burns out your legs, but gets your heart rate way up. Now remember, you're performing each round a total of three times. I would recommend you do this workout anytime you either can't make it to the gym, you're short on time, or you're traveling. The full workout breakdown is in the article below here on bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me, you can find me on Instagram at laisdeleon or on my website at laisdeleonfitness.com. And for more free workouts and articles like this, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com. Laise home workout content, take one. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs>